everybody. Welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Marsh Parker. I'm Cecil Laird. And I'm Jaime Fuego. And today we are bringing you another in theater review for 2016. We got the boy coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> and so if you've seen Puppet Master or if you've seen Child's Play or if you've seen Dead Silence, mm -hmm. there's nothing like any of those. No. Nope, nope, not really. It's yeah. unfortunately a little bit more akin to Annabelle yeah. than a lot of other doll movies mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this was directed by a guy named William Brent Bell, who had previously done Stay Alive, and more recently he did The Devil Inside. So he has some experience in horror, but this is dialing it back to the PG-13 realm, and so mm -hmm. you can't expect buckets of blood, more tension, mm -hmm. and more just kind of, you know, just building the thrills. So, uh, But there's a notable lady in it, right? Cecil? Absolutely. This one was starring Lauren Cohan, who everyone that watches the horror show most likely knows as Maggie, from The Walking Dead. Uh, Glenn's girlfriend, Herschel's <laughs> daughter, one of Herschel's daughters, a sister to Beth, who unfortunately we lost last mm -hmm. season in The Walking Dead. This phenomenal actress, once again, she plays an American, even though she is of Australian descent. She was great. So yeah, was good. Um, yeah. this was, uh, again, any Walking Dead fans know her as Maggie. Mm -hmm. So if you're into The Walking Dead, you'll definitely know who the lead of this film was. So Marsha, why don't you let everyone know what The Boy was all about? The Boy basically is, is about this young girl who goes to England and she gets hired on to be a nanny for these you know, older uh, parents, there's an older couple. They're on the middle. Very eccentric. Very yes. eccentric. They're mm -hmm. very out in the middle of nowhere. Gorgeous, right Holy out of a smokes. storybook, she says. Mm -hmm. And she is correct. She meets people, the housekeeper, or no, the grocery boy or whatever. The delivery yeah. guy, yeah. Delivery Everything boy. seems normal, but then she quickly finds out it's not normal because mm -hmm. the parents actually show her that the, their boy is actually a doll. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you get to kind of go on her journey on discovering this fact and, and what it means for her and all those that are around. It's Absolutely. like a life-size ceramic boy, though, which is kind of creepy yeah. just from the get-go. Creepy premise, because you're yeah. kind of thinking, yeah. is this thing alive? It's like a porcelain or... boy It's doll. a porcelain boy, and it's not yeah. a small one either. It's it's like almost a size is like maybe a five or six-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So... yeah, so Lauren Cohan shows up, and these older folks basically hand her a list of things that she's supposed mm -hmm. to do for Brahms, yeah. Very specific. Uh, yeah, very specific <laughs> list of things that she's supposed to do for this yeah. doll. And the very first time she sees, this isn't a spoiler in the trailer, she laughs. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, when, they, when they say this is... How do you react to that, Exactly, right? but... Luckily, she's sort of, uh, she gets a sign from someone else. We don't want to spoil anything, no. at least no. in the beginning of this. Not yet. We will be doing spoilers for this review at the end of the review, mm -hmm. but we will let you guys know when that happens so you can turn it off if you don't want to have the movie spoiled. we will get some forewarning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but basically, she decides to go along with it, mm -hmm. essentially, and she treats uh, the doll as though it's a little boy, the way mm -hmm. that the old folks want her to treat the doll. And they are going on a vacation, their first right. vacation in going a long on time. Going on holiday. Exactly. And so she is intended to watch the, the doll, or Brahms, mm -hmm. uh, while they're gone. At first she's like, I don't really understand what the deal is. And as soon as they leave, she like throws a sheet over the doll and then and then goes about her business. But strange things start a happening really yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. So I mean, what did you guys think of the movie overall? Yeah. Overall, I I did enjoy overall. it. Overall. 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 <laughs> um, overall, I, I did enjoy it. There were some really fun parts to it. It wasn't all I was hoping it to be, but I was glad I went and saw it. Yeah. It took a twist that was a surprise for me. Same I will say the twist yeah. was a surprise. It was. And, and you really, don't know what it's going to yeah. be. Even Unfortunately, a surprise twist does not always equate a good twist. Mm -hmm. And when it took the twist, which was nice, it unfortunately took a twist into the uh, uninteresting arena. It did take its time. So I will say that as yeah. something I have to mention. If you guys don't have patience in horror movies, this might not be for you because it takes its time setting up the situation. There's a slow burn. In sure. my opinion, mm -hmm. effectively, though. No, I think it, they did that on purpose. Because, no, I agree, I agree. Because they, you know, they wanted her to see it natu in a natural way. And a lot of, like, ghost stories, if you watch the ghost hunters and stuff like that mm -hmm. on TV, yeah. it's really common for everyone to say, well, at first I was just little things, and then it grew. Mm -hmm. And so I think by putting that in there, we're really kind of gives us what we're already kind of expecting when we think of a horror story or a ghost story in general. It's like, okay, it's not going to come at you all at once, but when it does, 
Hope you're wearing your shit pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Fuego, what were yeah. your thoughts on this? You know, I, I gotta mention the fact that when you start out with a beautiful, almost like castle looking mm -hmm. type yeah. structure where they filmed this, and, and you can see why they probably didn't make it for that much either, because you find an amazing location. It's practically a castle where they filmed this. One at. location for the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there's like kind of spooky forest surrounding it. It's very isolated place in the UK where this uh, American chick goes to. And. Yeah, it's, it's good for setting the ambiance and the mood of eeriness and stuff, mm -hmm. especially when it's just her there with this doll. Mm -hmm. and the only person she's seeing is the grocery guy once a week. Mm -hmm. The rest of the time, I mean, I, if I'm going to say something negative, I didn't really like the family bee story that okay. was going on. It just didn't work for me. It felt very cliched. And you mean her, her story? Her yeah. story. Okay. Her story back home. And there is they, there is yeah. some backstory that they try and she weave in. Past. Yeah, there's a reason why she's sort I of um, searching yeah. for this job out of the way, and it does sort of come back to haunt mm -hmm. her. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yes, please. Sorry. Yeah. No, but so so that was something that just didn't work as as much for me, and also the romance between two of the people that kind of developed, I thought was cheese, especially was like some of the lines at the easy. beginning. It was a little easy. When it started to happen, I was like, okay, yeah. all right. Well, I guess that's gonna happen. That's well, not what I'm here let's, for. Let's but. talk yeah. about that in the spoiler because I'd like okay. to. I would <laughs> like. I would like to say more about yeah. that. Let's talk about the spoiler part. I don't okay. want to give any. So until we get also there. some also some lacking logic, you know, from some of the characters. It's it's a horror movie though, so people, you know, they. Don't I wasn't paying think, attention to they logic. They don't always think. So. I, but I, you know, I'm gonna give it a little bit of credit though because yeah. there's something interesting that happens that I wasn't expecting going yeah. into the film, and I was yeah. like, okay. All right. Well, at least they're subver they're subverting expectations. Yeah. Which is which is nice to see in a horror movie nowadays. Again, uh, Fuego mentioned that it's a PG thirteen and it earns every bit of that PG thirteen. Be yeah. In so far as it's very tame. Yeah. And yet, it, it just I, makes you have to be more creative when you're working no, on the constraints and I think of PG thirteen. And there's been some damn good PG thirteen. There have been. Movies. I there think they been. did a really Most good of them job. Most the ghostly that. variety. You can't show all that gore that we like so much, you know, but. They did succeed in making a porcelain doll look creepy, which I guess maybe not that hard of a job to do, but constantly creepy, that might be tough to pull off over well, the course of Well, I mean, they did a really good job matching the doll with the image of, of the kid. Of the kid. Yeah. It was yeah. a really good matchup, and that's what really kind of got me, you know, a little more because. You know, one of my things is like I always well, I have porcelain dolls. I thought they were captured souls of young children, and that's why I hid <laughs> them in my closet. So when I see this doll, that's like you know, it's supposed to be the boy, and things well, happen. It's, it's it lifelike. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, take me back. You know. So what did you guys think of the acting then in the movie? Uh, about, again, it's largely yeah. Lauren Cohan's show. There were yeah. some other people, but what did you think overall? I think she did a fantastic job. I think she yeah. sold her role. And she made the movie interesting to watch. She had a lot of weight to carry, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. You know, she was in pretty much every shot, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. so. And uh, I thought the uh, the old folks were appropriately creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, they were. And, and, sad. Was, and then uh, the grocery guy was, you know, appropriately nice, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I thought you know? he did a good job. Yeah. He, he reminded me of somebody who brought groceries to old people. Now, there wasn't much by way of effects in this movie. No, um, not he, really it, at all. Honestly, again, building the tension. Both CG or to... practical effects. There was a little bit of CG and in the right moments and I think they did a good job. Okay. It wasn't like I watched it for a long time yeah. kind of CG but It didn't have many effects uh, one way or another honestly no. just a, a little bit here and there and Those Poor rats. I, I felt like <laughs> a, it was a, it was lacking a little bit because yeah. of it you know it, it didn't yeah. have it didn't have a tremendous amount of impact this film. Yeah, no, and I, I was kind of I don't want to say indifferent in the end after watching it but I was just kind of like it was alright. I mean, yeah. It wasn't bad. But it's a ghost yeah. story. There's not a lot of blood with ghosts. No, it's true. Uh, it doesn't have to well, be Well, there blood can be, though. Be good, there can you know? be, though. I think this one is definitely a wait for VOD. Or yeah. not even VOD. I would say wait for Netflix. And yet there's a lot of people who went and saw it. They made this movie for like around 5 or $10 million from what I heard. And it already yeah. made more than that in its opening weekend. Really? It made like 12 or 15 So people are going to keep doing, I, I don't want to say watered down, but keep doing these cheap. Well, this was a more gothic it style it, it, horror. It, it, it was a yeah. Blumhouse, though, you know? It was yeah. Lakeshore Productions, yeah. and they don't do tons of horror. They do a little bit of everything. It was yeah. interesting. I it was not bad, and I would recommend watching it. Absolutely. Hello? No one's been on there for years. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, Browns? It's not safe in this house. You don't understand what's happening. He's alive. The will be good.
good to him, won't you? That'll cover for the non-spoiler section of the review, guys. Yeah. We're going to now jump into the spoilers, so uh, beware if you don't want to know what happens. If you haven't seen this already, turn it off! Exactly, now! turn it off. Uh, check out one of our other reviews, and uh, if you are interested or don't care to see the movie, or perhaps you'll care to see the movie after we talk Maybe. about the spoilers, stay tuned, because here we go. Uh, what is the biggest spoiler for you, Marsha? The biggest spoiler... Oh my gosh, there's two. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. The, first one that comes the biggest mind. spoiler is that, number one, that the guy lives in the walls, <laughs> which is just like That's housebound. The big twist, the big twist yeah. is that Brahms, and the son of these old people, actually is alive. alive which yeah. is the Scooby-Doo at the same time, which yeah. I normally am like really... That would have gotten really, away with it if it wasn't for you meddling maids. <laughs> right? Um, normally I really, 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 really hate Scooby-Doo endings, especially when it comes to those stories. He was wearing a mask. But <laughs> it was so badass. If you're going to do Scooby Doo ending, I This was the way to go. Yeah, yeah. This so, was one of the best parts of the movie. So basically, when that happened, yeah. What, I, you keep thinking it's going to be supernatural. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They set it up to be a supernatural thing. And I was actually thinking what it was going to be is that the soul of her lost child was going to be the one because it's revealed that Lauren oh, Cohan no. actually yeah, actually that, that had my mind my had um, this past where she had an abusive boyfriend that beat her up and caused her to lose her child and, his, and that's that why she attached herself to this doll because she actually tries to start caring for the doll the way the parents or the, the old folks wanted so, to. Because she did what you started to mention in, in the thing, in which I thought of immediately. I was going to mention it too. When when she realizes the doll's alive, she freaks out for like five seconds. The twist happens. And then, bam, she's okay with it. She's like, oh, this she's is She's in maternal cool. mode, man. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe creepy. she was thinking it was the soul of her unborn child oh, that, that had gone into the doll and I, was... And that's I why it chose I just knew her. She lost it to take care of it. I don't think that. I think she no, thought I, it was I wrong. I know that's not what happened, yeah. but the, I thought, thought that's thought maybe what she was thinking. Oh, I don't know. I thought she thought it was Bronze the whole time. She but she felt that connection because she lost her baby. So she's I think like, she felt it was Bronze the whole time, yeah. but she still had a connection with because, it because of, of her. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. But I honestly I, kept thinking delivery guy was going to be the kid. And that there was some weird cover up of the dad, and that was why he was the only person. That would have been the only one who was allowed to come. They did say he would, uh, he'd be about your age. Yeah, Yeah, they did did leave that that open. I felt like they were kind of just trying to throw me a curveball though, and keep me off the scent. Yeah, Yeah. and they were, but there was a decent amount of that. I do give them credit at me not being so sure, even until the very end when the real twist we just mentioned happened. Well, I that still was, wasn't totally sure what was really going on. That was what was cool. So basically, Lauren Cohan's um, ex-boyfriend uh, that was the abusive one shows up. He finds the address, shows up, and even though she says the, the, the doll is alive, stupid. the doll's alive, <laughs> yeah. he's like, oh, you really want this doll? Fine. And he like swings it and he smashes the porcelain doll. But when yeah. he smashes that was a doll, high tension there was scene, only though. four of us in there, but we all went like, <gasps> all oh, of us were like, wow. no, that's terrible. Suddenly they start hearing things yeah. and, and... You still don't know. You still think it's the ghost. You still think it's the ghost it's, getting angry now yeah. that its yeah. vessel has been destroyed and maybe mm-hmm. the ghost... I was thinking, oh, Everything the ghost is free now. Right, that's what I thought too. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Like, the ghost like, oh, he's free now. He's a big monster because he's been in that doll for 20 years. The whole house is alive. I was so hoping it was going to be a monster banging on that the walls. T- and then the whole house freaks out and starts eating people like on We Are Still Here. But or Monster <laughs> House. Yeah. Uh, but no, unfortunately, it turns out that it was just Brahms as the like grown up Brahms. He survived what we thought he had uh, perished from. But the coolest thing. But he's thing. wearing a weird mask from the He's yeah. wearing up in the yeah, house no, a, a cracked get, fake porcelain death. mask. That didn't get me is when it opened up and she's like, Greta. And that little, kid little kid's voice. voice. I was like, what the fuck? They're like, what the stay. fuck is that? Yeah. What the fuck is that? And it's just like crazy. Cool. Just a big ball of crazy comes out of the wall. And you're like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. It Sorry, was, it was, that, was, it, that was crazy. So, you know, the, the ending was fun. I didn't buy how she vanquished him. She just just one like screwdriver to the heart. But, but also like the fact that he just went along with the whole... Now drop that weapon and go to bed, honey, and so on and so forth. And well, it's it's the, to... it's the Friday the or Friday the Thirteenth ending. Very you know, much so. Like, yeah, in a lot Jason. Of ways. Yeah, Jason. good call. Yeah, yeah, she she acts like the mom. That's and, and totally it's... ripped from that film. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> from the very uh, from number two, right? No, the first one. No, the very. 
Uh, no, no, it yeah, was you're number right. two. And, yeah. yeah, it was the number two. Yeah, number two. Because yeah, the first one it was Jason's mom. It was Jason's mom. Yeah, so so uh, it was number two. Yeah, the first time we you we know that. Jason. <laughs> and I should have. It had a lot of homagey things, but yeah. it was uh, it was interesting. It wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. I was automatically disappointed when it turned out to be actually just some dude in the some, walls. Yeah. But I thought because I thought I thought immediately Simpsons about Marsha because mm-hmm. Marsha one of Marsha's biggest fear is that someone is living in the walls and she doesn't realize it so this was a doll movie which but she hates i have a lot of weird fears and it turned and in she wanted to see it so much and it I turned did. into I, the I man in the walls fears. like it should have been the scariest movie marsha's ever seen uh-huh. yeah. based on the fact that it's a doll movie and turned into a man in the it walls it should movie. be but, but what it, it did wasn't. she say when we were leaving the theater uh, i guess i have to wait for the conjuring to come out to get scared yeah exactly so that's exactly what you said so that pretty much sums it up you guys uh i think that covers yeah. this movie i still pretty think well. people should watch it yeah, I still enjoyed it. There were a lot of times I screamed. I'm like, fuck, you got me. There's one Wait. scene that just disturbed me. Oh, the shower? No. Oh, that. Or... Where you see the old people. They're walking on this little shore oh. like a lake. They start filling their pockets with big, big ass rocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they just walk holding hands out to the Because they couldn't take water. it anymore. It's, it, it's the one scene in the film that actually stuck with me as being genuinely horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me. that's a horrible And that's way a spoiler. To go. So, but yeah, they, they leave her to go kill themselves. They're they like, left bitch, her. you can deal with our yeah. crazy son. That's exactly. Crazy. That's She's yours. She, really... uh, they offered her up. Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. When they left. And he's killed tons before her, as you find out, too. When they left, I even said it. I'm like, that's a weird thing to say. Like, the last thing the mom says to her is, I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I'm like, that's a weird thing to say. She <laughs> says that all out loud in the theater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The two other people. Yeah. Like yeah. All in all, I, I I thought it was a little underwhelming. I'd probably give it two out of five. Yeah. I'd say like two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, that's Marcia? Right there. Yeah. yeah around there. Okay. Yep. That got off. I would so watch it. Check it out if it sounds interesting yeah. to you guys. If you've watched through the spoilers, then you know all the good bits anyway. So you may be able to just watch it until you but get it, that Netflix. It was the 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 cinematography was really well done. The acting yes. was really well done. Yeah. The writing was, was not strong, but it wasn't weak either. The sound design was good. The sound design. It had a lot of good moments. It was a few times that I was really creeped out. It just you know the Scooby Doo. It didn't they deliver. Will always sink your ghost story. Yep, yep, absolutely. Let's do the super, super mega happy ending. Even though he was super cool and like serial killer worthy, I, I still like that guy. Yeah. Thanks for I'll watching this review of The Boy. I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. Gracias, I've been having fuego. And until next time, remember, stay, stay scared. scared. Creepy Put dog. Put you in the wall.